hi hello guys hope you all are doing well in today's uh, session we'll do lab on palo alto ha active active using upload sharing option so first let's quickly walk through our topology so in this lab basically we have two palo alto firewalls in active active and uh, on the uh, egress interface side we have an internet pc connected and on lan side we have one test pc so basically in this topology requirement is like on lan side we want one virtual ip wherein all lan side uh, network would be pointed to so in this case we are creating a virtual ip of 192.168.1.5 so basically uh, what we need to achieve is on LAN side we'll configure uh, virtual IP uh, VIP and on WAN side it would be both separate uh, links so let's start with uh, configuration uh, <coughs> First, uh, we will configure our interfaces for HA. So in this case, we will use our ETH3 as uh, our control link. Then uh, ETH4 we will use as our HA3 interface that will be used to uh, transfer the config in uh, in case of asymmetricity and in eth5 we will use as a data link okay so this is done now once these interfaces are configured let's proceed towards setting up HA so on setup tab let's give a group ID of 50 description let's give for all the firewall one we'll configure this in active active so it gives us notification saying if you change the mode to active active then all active policy configuration would be lost or you sure to change this we'll say yes and for this we'll uh, make device id as zero and we'll enable config sync peer ip address will mention it as 192.168.168.37 for management link we will use eth1-3 our management control ip is dot 36 with slash 24 mask uh, there is no backup link for data link we will use eth 1 slash 5 ip address of 192.168.77.36 And we'll keep transport as Ethernet as both these uh, links are directly connected. Then on election setting, uh, we'll make this firewall as the priority of 90 with preemption enabled. HA timers will keep it as recommended. So this is basically HA config done for general then um, let's do for active active thing for this we will be using ha3 interface as eth1 slash 4 we'll do vr sync in this case 22 threshold let's keep it default uh, ownership uh, will keep it default on first packet and session setup would be ip modulus in case of virtual ip as per 
our requirement we are going to make virtual IP as 192.168.1.5 and it will be in a load sharing and device algorithm selection algorithm would be IP modulus so we'll do this then once that's done let's check uh, routing if we have all routes configured correctly okay that's fine let's give a commit in the meantime we'll configure other firewall similarly on second firewall eth one slash one we will configure it as a link that's connecting to isp let's say and it will be in a l3 mode let's keep it in vr1 soon we will name it as outside ipv4 we will give IP as 1.1.1.3 let's enable uh, this thing management profile name it MGMT Yeah, usually it's not recommended to enable this for outside, but in our lab, we'll keep this enabled. Then this would be our LAN side. Let's make interface as layer 3. Virtual router would be VR. And security zone, we'll name it as inside zone so and our ip address in this case is 192.168.1.3 and management profile values mgmt All right then eth3 would be used as control link that's fine eth4 we will use as ha3 link and uh, interface type would be HA similarly ETH5 will use as data link primary interface type would be HA right so once that's done let's start with HA config so in this case we'll enable HA and group ID will be 50 we'll name it as Palo Alto firewall 2 it will be an active active with this one peer ha is 36 yep that's look correct then uh, for management we will use 1-3 so ip address would be 192.168.168.37 net mask will mention then on data link side we will mention it as 5 with IP address of 192.168.77.37 transport would be Ethernet on then election settings let's keep it 100 enable preemption here for HA3 we'll select ETH4 and we'll do VR sync let's push uh, before that let's quickly check what does virtual router say so virtual router sync anyways is virtual router sync okay so this this uh, configuration has been pushed and as you can see that 
the high availability status it says local as non-functional group id mismatch there so once the uh, commit has been pushed it will start syncing the configuration let's wait for push to commit mm -hmm. okay now the push has been committed let's check on dashboard now config sync is in progress as you can see this firewall as an active primary and local is still waiting for 22 volt time so let's give it some some time to sync let's do sync to peer mm -hmm. now sync is in progress mm -hmm. now we can see that the peer says have to secondary yep now we can see local as active secondary this is active primary though synchronization it is still in progress fine now main thing is let's check for high availability Okay, now it says synchronized let's check here and see if it has been synchronized okay now let's come to device high availability okay fine so let's consider configure here floating IP address for it with IP address of 192.168.1.5 and let's keep it in upload sharing and let's do commit the time commit gets pushed let's open up session to test pc okay so let's check the configuration on test pc so it's configured for 192.168.1.10 let's check route default gateway is configured for one let's check if default gateway is reachable looks like it's not reachable yet okay now config has been completed Here again, we need to add static route. Pointing to one side.
let's check why it's not coming up ha3 data link 192 168 one dot two no configuration has been completed let's check 1.3 slash 24 let's change this interface and give it proper submit mask A commit is pending please try again later okay fine let's give a commit again and see on test PC okay now you see that gateway had started responding so that is fine so now our virtual IP is reachable but our ultimate goal is to tell it into the internet PC and confirm the connectivity so now let's check if our internet PC is reachable. Let's do ping test. looks like it is not working let's check okay now let's quickly check config on internet pc Okay, it's up. Let's check default route. So it is pointy to one dot one dot one dot two. That is this one. Let's check connectivity with one dot one dot one dot two. Okay, connectivity looks fine. Still, test PC is not able to reach it. let's check session ID on firewall show session or so at the moment no session that's fine let's start ping test again In the meantime, let's check security policy. What security policy? Oh, there you go. We don't have any security policy configured. So let's make this a default security policy allowing traffic from inside zone going to its uh, outside zone for any application. And let's uh, do it in you know, any service action allow. So that's fine. Let's uh, give it a commit. Yep. Now this ping has started working 
so now let's turn it into internet pc okay yeah this we are able to tell it into it now let's check show users this see connection okay so now it says we are able to log in from 1.10 because we haven't done any NAT in this case so it is showing the direct host PC IP address so that's fine now let's check session as we can see that session has created let's check session ID So as you can see in this case, the session owner is a J Active Active local device. That's true. And session setup is locally in a H A Active Active. So both session owner and session setup has been done uh, locally by this firewall in this particular case. So secondly, we will quickly check show high availability virtual address so in this case we can see that there is only one virtual address uh, we have configured on LAN side which is active and type is upload sharing so that's all for this lab hope it finds useful for you if you have any queries please do comment I will try to answer thanks for watching you have a good day Bye.